bed for you. Let me leave you with Gerard Ruiz, owner of Cocktail Time, who will show you how to make incredible cocktails inspired by the Costa Brava. Bye, Gerard. Thank you very much, Tura. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks a lot for being here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of cocktails. But first of all, I would like to introduce you a little bit our gin, which is Norai gin, inspired by the Costa Brava. Um, I'm the owner, as uh, Tura said, of Costa Brava Distillery and also Cocktail Time. In Cocktail Time, we are organizing and doing the service of cocktails in spirit and by the Costa Brava as well. Outdoor cocktails, signature cocktails. In and in the Costa Brava, uh, we are making uh, some liquors and some spirits uh, inspired by the Costa Brava as well, but handcraft in a small batches like this lovely gin, as I said. The Norai Gin is, uh, we are using a recycled bottle, um, a cork, um, handmade as well from people uh, from here around. And then also for the label, is made with 100% uh, cotton instead of paper. Okay, so um, this is a gin based, as I said. We are using juniper from here on the side. As all of you know, this is a small bottle. Uh, balls which is juniper okay this is the main ingredient to make our lovely gin and then we are using some ingredients from Costa Brava which is the first one is pine all of you know the pine but it's from from the side of the sea okay it's a bit different of the others also we are using uh, marine funnel which is this one it's an ingredient very important ingredient for Norai gin which is giving us some uh, green flavors and, and, and also density for the gin, okay? Also, one of the main ingredients is Dulce Marie in Catalan. It's called uh, Artemisia Gallica, okay? So this one is more like a terroir flavor and it's giving a, a special flavor to, to our lovely gin. And then also we are using, of course, citrus, these lovely uh, um, lemons. From, uh, from my cousin, okay? And uh, you have it inside this lovely box, okay? So, uh, one distillation for to make this gin, and I think we can start with, uh, to make this, these cocktails. We, we wanna start from, from uh, open the box. You can start to open your box as well. There we go. We're gonna start to make a gin and tonic mojito. First of all, I'm gonna show you what's inside this box. Here you have the tonic water, then you have the Norai gin in a small bottle, which is two cocktails in there, 125 milliliters. And then you have a ginger ale, a fresh lemon juice, uh, sorry, a fresh lemon. And then bottle opener, well, this one sticky here, and then edible straws. We're gonna start from the uh, gin and tonic mojito. We're gonna need tonic, gin, lemon, and then the syrup, okay? And we will start to cut the lemon, half lemon, and then from the half lemon, we cut three wedges like this. Let's put the wedges inside. Now it's time to put the white sugar, one, uh, bar spoon of white sugar. If you like uh, sweeter, two bar spoons of white sugar. Here today I'm gonna use uh, simple syrup. If you have simple syrup uh, at home, you can use 20 ml as well, okay? It's more or less the same measure. Uh, now it's time to muddle, to macerate the lemon with the sugar. We're gonna use a muddler until all the juice is coming out. All right, we're gonna need uh, fresh mint, six, seven mint leaves, more or less, something like this, okay? All the flavors are coming out with this, uh, with the hands. And now it's time to add the uh, ice. We're gonna need crushed ice if you have it at home, if not, you can get uh, regular ice and 
uh, broken it with the muddler or with the spoon or whatever you, you have it uh, at home, okay? So, we're gonna fill it up till the top and now we're gonna add the Norizin, okay? Open the small bottle. As I said, here you have 125 mils, but we only need 50 mils, okay? If you have a measure at home, it's 50 mils, it's the big one. If not, a shot glass is, uh, is 50 mils already. Once you have the, the, the gin inside the cocktail, we're gonna stir it a little bit to make a blending of the ice, lemon, sugar and mint. And now it's time to open the tonic water and fill up till the top the cocktail. So instead of soda to make a regular mojito, we add tonic water, okay? This one is Royal Bliss, but you can use uh, the brand uh, you want, okay? It doesn't matter. No uh, different flavors like this, if you like, like uh, what, citrus flavors or regular tonic water, but not strawberry or whatever, because if not, it's gonna change a lot the cocktail we make. Okay, let's put a little bit more of the crushed ice. Now we're gonna add the edible straw that you have inside the box as well. There we go. And we're gonna finish with the garnish, which is fresh mint and the lime, okay? And here you have a gin and tonic mojito. Okay, thank you very much for seeing us. I hope you enjoy with us and uh, see you very soon in Costa Brava. Thanks a lot. So as you can see, now is almost night time. So we have to finish with our virtual trip. Now it's time to do some business in the workshop. We hope that you enjoyed this trip and you found a lot of opportunities to organize your next meeting and event in the Costa Brava and Girona Pyrenees. It's been such a pleasure. Ignazi, myself, and together with our 140 companies members of the Costa Brava, Girona and Convention Bureau, we are here to help you out with your upcoming